Hello, today we'll look into pyramidal tract. These are descending tract of the spinal cord, concerned with voluntary movements. The pyramidal tract fibers run from cerebral cortex to spinal cord hence, also called cortico-spinal tract. Origin and course. Somatosensory area 40% of fibers. Premotor area 30% of fibers. Primary and supplementary motor areas, 30% of fibers. Fibers from origin descend in diffuse manner forming fun kind of structure, called corona radiata. Corona radiata converge in the form of internal capsule. Head pons fibers descend as compact bundles. In middle and upper part, Fibers from both sides cross and form decalcation. This gives pyramidal appearance and so is the name. In fact, not all the fibers cross, but only 80% cross. Remaining 20% of fibers descend through same side. At spinal cord, the crossed fibers terminate at lateral white column of spinal cord, hence called lateral corticospinal tract cross pyramidal tract indirect pyramidal tract while the uncrossed fibers end at anterior column hence known as anterior corticospinal tract also direct pyramidal tract uncrossed pyramidal tract now all the fibers reach anterior gray horn of spinal cord from here directly or through interneurons they synapse with alpha motor neurons and their axons leave the spinal cord as spinal nerves functions. Pyramidal tracts are concerned with voluntary movements, fine and skilled movements. Effect of lesion. Lesion at cortex causes upper, motor, neuron, lesion. Loss of voluntary movements. Increase in muscle tone causing spasticity and spastic paralysis. All superficial reflexes being lost and deep reflexes exaggerated with Bobinski sign positive. Hemiplegia with unilateral lesion and quadriplegia with bilateral lesions. Thank you and make sure to subscribe.